Hey artists, today we're making pop art, which means you're going to pick something that you really like that is popular or exciting for you. And we're going to draw it six different times. And we're going to use that pop art style with bright, bold colors. So follow along with me and we'll get started. The first thing we want to do is take our paper and fold it in half the long skinny way. Okay, now we are going to try to fold this over so both this side and the side we're folding look the same size. So that isn't even, that's way too big. And that's not even because now this one is too small and this one's too big. I want to just move it along till they look almost exactly the same. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it there. And now I can see this side is almost exactly the same as that side. And so now I'm going to pick up this side and fold it over the top also. Now, when we open this, we should have six little squares. Ta-da! Okay, so this paper is ready for our pop art. The next thing we need to do is draw something that we're going to repeat on all six pieces. So we want to get out a piece of paper. I've got a little scrap here and I want to cut it a little bit smaller because if whatever I draw is too big, then I won't be able to trace it onto here. So now we've got to think, what are we going to draw? With pop art, it could be something like a character that's really popular or just like a food thing or really anything you like or enjoy would be perfect for a pop art picture. So maybe it's pizza, maybe it's sushi, maybe it's your favorite pair of shoes that you have, maybe it's somebody out of your favorite movie or your favorite animal. Um, just kind of anything you would like to draw. And I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, what is one of the cutest things that I have seen this whole past year? And I'll tell you what, I am thinking of Baby Yoda. So that's what I'm going to draw here. I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to draw Baby Yoda. And I'm going to draw it real simple because I know I'm going to be tracing it and doing wild colors every time. So... For me, I'm thinking like, just like that oval shape for his body. And then his little outfit like this. So you are going to be taking your pencil and drawing whatever it is that you would like to repeat six times on your page. Okay, and I know he's got Those big cute eyes. I'm just gonna give him a little nose and a little mouth. All right, and now I'm going to trace over this with my black marker so that I'll be able to see it really well and then I'll be able to see it to trace onto here. So that's my next step. Okay, I traced over it with black marker and I realized I had to make him a little bit smaller to get him to fit. And now when I put this under my paper, I can see it pretty clearly to trace. So I'm gonna go through and um, it is your choice if you wanna trace it with pencil first in case you make a mistake or if you wanna just go ahead and go straight to tracing it with your black marker. So I'm going to go around my little baby Yoda and I'm going to make sure I get all the parts. And whatever you've drawn, if it's a piece of pizza or a little character, 
you're just going to be tracing it six times in these six squares that we made. I've got my first one and I want to go ahead and color in the eyes so it matches and I'm gonna go ahead and do that six times in each of the six squares that we folded all right now I have taken my original drawing and I have traced it by sneaking it under the paper six different times in those six different squares that we had so now comes the fun part where we get to color this in with our bright bold colors the pop art we looked at before had every square kind of a different color. We can use our markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you'd like. But we want to make each square different. So I might grab my light green here and color him kind of the regular way. I'm going to just color his skin with the light green. And then I'm going to get like a pink color for inside his ears. outfit I actually drew him in the style of one of those big squishmallow pillows you can buy I got a big baby Yoda squishmallow and so that's kind of how I drew him in that like little round shape so I'm drawing this one kind of the more realistic colors that he comes with And then I'm gonna choose a color to do in the background of the square. And like I said, you can be using crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you like. Now I wanna be careful to make sure that I draw right along that line because each of these squares is going to be different. And this will look so neat with whatever you chose. If it was pizza or french fries, an ice cream cone, or Groot. I always love that little guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. So you could do like a character, a food, maybe a hoverboard if that's something you like. Um, just really any Thing that you would like to draw and then when you're coloring you're gonna make sure each time you color it differently with your bright colors this blue is really making him stand out which I think looks pretty cool All right, I have one square completed now. So now, when I choose the colors for the next square, I wanna make it very different. So I'm looking through my colors and I think I'm going to do purple. And I'm gonna get out my orange. And I'm gonna get out my blue green. Okay. So, to make this a little different, I'm going to do the blue-green instead, right here. He 
He looks cute whatever color he is. It's the big eyes. All right, so I'm gonna color this part of him. And then instead of pink in the ears, I'm gonna do orange. And instead of brown, I'm gonna make his outfit this blue violet. And like I did with the brown, I colored real lightly. And then I made the bottom part just a little darker. So I will push harder down here. And then I've got to think about what color I would like the background. And I am thinking this time I'm going to go for yellow. You do not have to use marker for the background on each of these. I like the marker because it's got such a bright, bold color. So I'm going to grab my yellow marker. And again, right down that line. And then I'm going to just carefully, I don't want to smear it with the blue. I know the yellow marker likes to smear. Okay. And now I'm just going to do my best to get it all colored in. And my pop art is looking extra cool. And it's time to go on to the next little baby Yoda. So I gotta pick some different colors. I think this time I'm gonna make him pink and I'm gonna make his ears red violet. And I'm gonna make his outfit green. All right. So here we go, same thing, I'm going to color in the Baby Yoda, whatever you are drawing, you're going to color it in, but each time we do it a little bit differently. And that's what's fun about pop art, it's just looking at things from a different perspective, a different viewpoint, and it's kind of fun and wild and exciting. I'm going to add this here. And the same style I did before where I push lightly and then I push harder toward the bottom. And I'm thinking about what color I want to do in the background here. And I'm thinking it's going to be orange. So I will grab my orange marker and color that square in the background orange. Okay. Straight down the line. And I turn my paper so I can get it just how I want it. And then I'm gonna start coloring this one in too. Once you've got the first row done, you can really see what your picture is going to be turning out like. And it just looks so cool. The bright colors and the repetition of your subject all the way down. And then the fun, happy mood it kind of sets by using these bright colors. It just looks really cool. All right, I'm gonna continue this on these three by coloring in the subject and coloring the background a different color until my entire picture is complete. So once you've colored in your subject six times, the last step is going to be to just finish that background, making sure that each of your squares is a different color. And you're using these bright, bold colors 
like I said, I did all of my backgrounds with a marker, but you don't have to. You could totally use your colored pencil or crayon, whatever you would prefer. I just think the marker is a little bit brighter. All right. So this is kind of that final touch and I will be done with my Baby Yoda pop art. All right, so I cannot wait to see what popular item you chose to draw and trace six times and the bright colors you use. I can't wait to see what you create.